let me help show you how this is done. You go to settings right here and then you click on system display graphics and then you click on add Microsoft Store app scroll down click on the Elder Scrolls and once you have it added scroll down and click on the Elder Scrolls and right here you'll see uh, this is on by default but you want to change it to this one high performance whatever your graphics card says here so you select that and you just close the box and you're set now you can run your Elder Scrolls and it'll use only your uh, dedicated GPU and not the integrated graphics so I was wondering why it was dropping to 900 and 500 at times and it was very very curious for me so my frame rate is at 150 but once we get a game it's going to be around 60 to uh, 100 FPS depending on where I am in the game. Let me quickly show you and I'll show you my graphic settings at the end as well. So here I am on top of Bruma right near Bruma Castle and if I click on the map to center. And look at that it hasn't got down from uh, 1900 it just stays on your dedicated GPU this is such a beautiful game they've done a brilliant job on it and it's just uh, sad to see some of you guys uh, stuttering and not being able to run this properly so these are my graphic settings guys uh, check them out we got full screen 1440p match frame rate uncapped brightness intensity is at zero I bumped up the FOV just a bit motion blur is off screen space reflection is a FPS hog so I turned that off as well and look at that in my benchmark previously to this I did um, benchmarks on high but now it's on ultra and it's running it's actually running better because of this uh, Microsoft thing. So DLSS is on, it's on quality, and NVIDIA Reflex is enabled and boost is applied. So, hope you enjoyed it guys. Don't forget to share, like, favorite, subscribe. Let me know if this tip helped you. It really, really helped me. Uh, this could be done on AMD, NVIDIA, and Intel graphics cards. So try it out. That Microsoft thing really, really helps. Bye guys.